Hi everyone! I have an important message from the first year class. We know a lot of people are curious about the new curriculum this year, and you might have heard of some recent additions like LCE and TBL, but you probably haven't heard of a new program we're piloting this year called Peer-Based Learning, or PEEBLE. We thought it would be fun to give you a little peek at what we've been doing in PEEBLE and show you an educational video from our genetics course. So, here it is. Enjoy! Observe your surroundings. Observe. What do you see? The answer is genes. No, not those genes. These genes. DNA. Giver of life, keeper of secrets. It holds the key to our existence. And yet it remains so elusive. DNA possesses a familiar ladder-shaped structure and is divided into multiple compartments called genes. There are approximately 100,000 genes in the human genome, each comprising 10 rungs on the DNA ladder. In fact, if you laid out all your DNA from end to end, you could climb to the moon. Please turn to page 872 in your workbooks and follow along with our lesson on genetics. We all have the same genes, but various properties differ between our DNA to make each individual unique. For example, short people have short chromosomes and tall people have tall chromosomes because tall people have more distance between the rungs of their ladders. That is why they need such long legs. Sun exposure can damage DNA, creating distress genes. Genes can teach us a lot about someone. Yeah. We're taking a closer look at someone's genes. Upon close examination, we can deduce that the subject is from Toronto. What a beautiful city. Sometimes, two people have the same DNA structure. These are called monozygotic twins. Put that in your pocket. Congratulations on your monozygomatic twin. Monosymplotic twins are nearly indistinguishable. This rare phenomenon is both chronic and untreatable. You may have heard of a famous monogamous twin, Lindsay Lohan. Don't forget to put that in your pocket. Now, let's do an experiment. Mendelian genetics is named after the father of genetics, Nelson Mandela. Let's recreate one of his most famous experiments, the P experiment. Recall that offspring inherit features from both parents. To demonstrate this, we will mate a red pea plant with a yellow pea plant. Let's give them some privacy. Now, let's turn the lights back on and see the result of our experiment. Look, they've produced orange progeny. Mazel tov. Put that in your pocket. 
This concludes the lesson on genetics. We're glad you could join us on our journey to understand genetics. See you next time!